everybody, welcome to the stash or pass for the Sherlock and the show-off. Now to begin with here, I think that both of these are probably close to being discontinued because the next two releases that we're looking at in the Premier line and HP2 line should be a solid. And especially with the Premier line, they already have the Sherlock and the Codex, and once I'm expecting a solid intense, probably around the first of the year, like January, February-ish, something like that. And then uh, in the HP2 line, the next one, should, I'm probably going to be a solid winner. Uh, I don't know. As far as the HP2 line and Roto grows, I'm not entirely sure. They might keep the show off around. Schlem's kind of like a like a mad scientist or something. You never quite know what to expect over there, so they might keep that one around for a little bit. But if a solid intense comes out in the Premier line, I would expect them to go on ahead and discontinue the Sherlock. Now, getting into it, both of these balls have a very similar shape. They're both pretty angular for solids, and I think that they complement each other really well. You have the ASIM torque of the Sherlock with a stronger cover than the Showoff has, and then you have the weaker core of the Showoff, but still with that strong nano cover on it. If you're using the Sherlock to start with, and then you it just starts hooking too early or hooking too much, you can go down to the Showoff and have that similar look in a ball that doesn't hook as much or hook so early. Now, as far as stashing or passing on either one of these, I, I'm on the fence. I think it. I think they can be either, depending on how you matched up with them. They're not a stash for me. I keep wanting to order them and throw them again, but I remember the first time that I had them, they ju it was just too much ball. And they're, like I said, they're very angular for solids to begin with. And so I just could never throw them. Now, for those of you who have had success with them and do like them, I think that they're absolutely a stash. Number one, because the show-off is the biggest bang for your buck at that price point. And the Sherlock is something else that it's, it's still, I think, the strongest and most angular ball on the market. So I think that if you've had success with these, that they're an absolute stash. But I think for the higher rev crowd, it's probably not something that uh, probably not something that you're going to want to hold on to because I think that the popularity, uh, some of this is looking looking down the road two or three years and maybe stashing one of these, even if you don't want to throw it. We're, we're both thinking about stuff that you want to drill in a couple of years when it's not around anymore and stuff that you can you can turn around for a profit in a couple of years. And I think it's going to be on the fence for, like I said, for both of these because the high rev crowd, it is not you're not going to have a whole lot of demand there. But for the people that they really worked for, they really worked. So I think it's one of those things where... I, I think that you would base this off of whether or not the ball worked for you rather than value, you know, two, three, four, five years down the road. I'm not sure that they're going to have much more value in a few years unless they really, really work for you. And I don't see, we haven't really seen anything quite like them before. And I don't think that we'll see anything quite like them after this. Most of the time, the bigger hooking stuff is is a lot smoother. So I think that they're fairly unique balls. I think that if you liked them, you stashed them to drill in a couple years. But if they didn't work out for you, then I wouldn't probably recommend stashing them for, uh, you know, to turn them over for a profit here in a couple years. So that's what I think about on the show off and the Sherlock. Thanks for watching.